Hello friends, this is a very short little video on this Heathkit SB610, which is a known as a station monitor, and uh, it has several functions, uh, including being able to show your transmit envelope. Uh, it can also show linearity if you've got an exciter and an amplifier to show the linearity by using a RF trapezoid display. Um, it has the ability to inject audio, uh, either a single tone or two tones for, uh, I think it's uh, uh, IMD and linearity uh, type testing. And uh, it's quite a handy little thing. Uh, I've owned this now for, I don't know, 15 more, maybe, maybe more years. And uh, when I got it, uh, I seem to recall, though my, I can't find my notes after all that time, uh, that I did a recap of it, and I can probably open it up and confirm this. I recapped it, and I also vaguely recall getting this, um, working to get this audio tone generator uh, fixed. So uh, I, I might try to put that on a spectrum analyzer or a frequency counter and see um, see if that's working. But for today, I, for now, I just wanted to do a little AM test. Uh, so uh, let's, well, let's do CW first. We'll do a CW test, then I've got my little power meter. And uh, let's see, I'll use my right hand here to key up the... And so you can see, you can... You can see that. I don't know if we can increase the sweep frequency. No, that's as high as it goes. We can lower the sweep frequency. That doesn't do much. Uh, but, you know, you've got various um, controls here. You can adjust the focus. I think I've got it pretty well focused. Change the intensity. Uh, the vertical position. This is a little stiff, this control, but I think that it's okay. And then horizontal position. And so now let's go to AM mode and see if we can get a little bit of an AM. Uh, here we go, a little AM envelope here. We'll do a little talk. And I'm not sure if this, this, this transmitter might actually be uh, AM equivalent. I don't know if it's actually AM, but we'll see what it produces. Test, test. This is W2HX. Let's see if we can increase our sweep frequency and see if that... Test. There you have it. Seems to work. Seems to work pretty well. Um, all right, now let's see. Maybe I'll open it up and take a look around, and maybe I'll put I'll, I'll see what the audio is generating. Okay, so um, what I did here is I connected uh, a cable to the back of the signal monitor and into my audio switching rack and then out to a little speaker. So let's see if this audio works. So we're gonna put it first on 1.5 kilohertz or kilocycles as I said in the back in the old days. And you could hear one tone and now let's do this option here is two tones. And you can clearly hear two tones. Okay, that's pretty good. What I don't exactly know, and I guess I'm not sure if I'm going to commit to trying this. I could run this into, I guess I could run it into my scope and, uh, and do a little uh, FFT on it to see what, the, what those frequencies are. Okay, so I convinced myself to dig in a little further. Uh, and so what I have is I've, I've got this connected up to my scope. And the scope is a LaCroix uh, HRO66CI. It's, it is like my favorite piece of equipment in the entire universe. Uh, and so, um, you know, no surprise here, I'll turn it off. Uh, no signal, or turn it on, we have a signal. And then I'm gonna flip it uh, to the next position, which is two tone. And you'll see clearly there are two tones being produced. Uh, and so let's put this in spectrum analyzer mode, which is a, an FFT fast Fourier transform. Uh, let's see, I do this very infrequently, uh, so let's see if I can get it right. Yeah, pretty good. Worked pretty much off the bat. And so what I've done is, uh, oops, I forget it's a touch screen. Uh, I have uh, a, a markers 
uh, uh, turns on. Let's see if I can show you this. Hold on one second. All right, so I'm going to use this little uh, stylus. So I've got my, I hope you can see all this, my uh, peaks and markers. I've got peaks set. I'm looking at a maximum of 10 peaks. Actually, I'm going to change this. I don't need 10. I need like, you know, let's just say five peaks. Oops, sorry. Five peaks. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, do I need that many peaks? Let's go to, let's go to like four peaks. Okay, uh, so on the right, it's, ha it's showing you the time domain, which, you know, we're not that interested in here. Uh, and at, uh, on the left is the frequency domain. You can see peaks one, two, and three, three slash four very close to each other. Uh, so let's take a look at, so at peak, the top peak, the highest peak with a, with a minus 13 dBm signal is 1.6 kilohertz. Uh, and then the next Peak two is way down. It's 20 dB down. Uh, you can see it's minus 34. So this is really uh, just a harmonic, right? 1.6 to 3.2. It's a harmonic. This is not, uh, you know, no, this heat kit equipment is not designed to be lab quality or, or, or that great. But you can see a peak two is really just a third. Uh, I'm sorry, the second harmonic at, at roughly twice the, the, the peak. Uh, and so let's turn on the two tones. And let's see what we got. All right. I also have this, uh, I should mention, I have this on um, averaging five. So we, it just makes a little less noise, the five averages. Okay. So here, now you see peaks one and two. And let's look at the frequencies. So we have uh, peak one is 1 1.6 at minus 13.7 dBm. And peak two is two kilohertz, also roughly thir uh, 14 minus 14 dBm. And then the third peak is way down at 34 uh, dBm. So uh, let, me, let me show you, I'm gonna paste in here. Okay, so what you can see here in the specs is that the frequencies should be approximately 1500 hertz and 1950 hertz. Uh, and so we're not that far off, we're pretty close at 1600 hertz and 2000 hertz. So overall, I, I'd say this is great, fine, and good enough for government work. Um, but this, but generally speaking, the envelope feature of this works, the audio feature, the two-tone generation feature works. Uh, I haven't tried the trapezoid or, or RIDI. Those are a little more involved to get set up. But uh, at this point, I, I think this is a working unit. It's gonna be for sale at the uh, Nearfest uh, amateur radio uh, a ham ham uh, soiree in uh, Deerfield, New Hampshire, this weekend, which is the weekend of the uh, October fourteenth, two thousand twenty-two. Thanks for watching.